Hey, Macy, glad to see you. Hey, Walt, how are you, man? I understand you've got some good photos to take a look at. I have been so busy, it's hard to explain, but I'm glad to be here at the camp. Let's go inside. I want to show you a couple of neat things. Hey, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys, let's come inside and look at some great deer here. I've been flying surveys for the last, you know, 45 days all over Texas, north, south, east, and west, and, and it's going to be a great year in Texas. The rains have been abundant and perfectly timed. So let's look at some deer right here. This first deer I want to talk about is this beautiful 5x5 five five with a drop tine. This deer is in Demick County. You'll notice he's got pretty long main beams, but look at his short brow tines and his short G4s. Now, yeah, he's got a drop tine. It's only three and a half inches. Not a high scoring animal. He's fully mature. Once you look at that deep chest, look how flat he is across the back. Uh, you know, this is a good deer, but he's only going to score in the 140s. So a lot of ranches would probably harvest this deer as a mature management deer and not really a trophy. Let's look at this second deer. He's a 6x6 six six typical, but instead of looking at his antlers, look at his body. Looks like a doe. He really does. Notice that thin shoulders, thin hips. Look how small his waist and his butt is. Uh, you see the red sandy soles. This deer is probably LaSalle or Frio County. I really don't know, but uh, look, look at this 6x6 six six rack. Notice the peanut colored antlers. He really doesn't have a lot of antler mass, but he's got great beams, great tines. This is a future Boone and Crockett trophy whitetail deer. If you're a deer hunter, you might be considering shooting this deer. If you're a deer manager, you would never consider shooting this deer. This is your next Boone and Crockett whitetail. Here's a really nice, big, heavy buck. Again, look at his chest. Look at his shoulders. Look at the width of his skull. Even though he's running away from you, you can tell his skull is deep. His skull is wide. Look at that big, strong body. Now look at the antler mass. See how dark his antlers are? Yeah, he's got a lot of points going on that right side. The left side's not that impressive. I, I count 10 or 11 points, but you see those heavy bladed brow tines, those heavy G2s. This deer is post mature. So if you're looking for a true trophy deer, this one's it. Probably going to score in a high 160s. Main beams are a little bit short, but this right here, this deer's fully mature, maybe post mature. This would be a great buck to harvest. Here's a couple of interesting deer. These deer in Maverick County. You see that slate gray body color. You see that black mane running around the back of their ears, down the back of their neck. These are just beautifully well colored deer. What I see on this, the front deer, look at, look at his shoulders. You can barely see his head. You can barely see his antlers. He looks like a giant eight point. But look across his back and his hips. You see how flat and wide they are? Looks like you could ride this deer as a saddle. So I know this deer is mature. He looks like he's an eight pointer. So I would say shoot the first deer for sure. The deer in the back, a lot wider, short brow tines. He's clearly a mature buck. I need to get a better look at this deer from the front, but I see short brow tines on both these deer. The both of them are mature. They're in Maverick County. Maverick County's had about 34 inches of rain this year. So you see the green vegetation. These animals are, are fat. They're lacking nothing. So I, I'd like to get a better look at these deer. I'd set out trail cameras or maybe go sit in the deer blind. But I really think both these deer probably could or should be harvested this year from a management perspective. <laughs> look at this. This is incredible. It's really hard. It's really, really hard to get a deer jumping a fence in midair and stop him like that. Now, after appreciating the quality of the photograph, look at this deer carefully. I see a doe looking neck, I see a long pointed face, I see a small thin body. This deer is obviously not a, a fully mature deer. Now let's look at his antlers. I see a short main beams, a tight basket rack, but most importantly I see crab claws out on the end. Yeah, he has 10 points, but look how short his brow tines are. Look how short his G4s are. And you see that crab claw effect? They look like lobster claws or a crab claw. That's a, that's a genetic trait. And some ranches have a lot more of them than others. They don't score very well and they're very difficult to get rid of. So this is not a fully mature deer, but he has short brows, short beams, narrow inside spread. I think this deer for genetic purposes would and should be harvested. Here's a big deer in velvet. Obviously took this one a month and a half or so ago. 
you see the green vegetation. I think this is a Webb County deer. Look at the, the body on this deer. It looks like he's pregnant. You see that long, deep chest. You see that great big belly, that great big wide rump. Look how wide he is across the back. See that black mane running down his back? That tells me this is probably Maverick or Webb County. Those deer are just beautiful coloration. Uh, see the black tip on his tail? That's kind of a neat little touch that you don't see on all white-tailed deer. This is a great big mainframe 12 point. His G5s are real small, uh, but he's got great brows, twos, threes, and his fours are pretty shiny too. This deer is going to score in the 170s, no doubt, maybe a little higher once he rubs out of velvet. This is a great trophy deer. It could be harvested this year. This is a really fine South Texas buck. Look at this deer. I get pictures and calls about deer like this all the time. This deer doesn't look mature to me. I don't see a lot of muscle definition. I really can't tell of his belly, but his neck's real thin. I can obviously see that. So his right side, or his good side, really isn't that good. He's got a great brow tine. He's got decent twos, outstanding threes, but his beam's pretty short. Now obviously, let's look at the left side. He's got two points going on. Obviously, this is some kind of major uh, pedicle damage or early antler damage. So when you see a deer with a damaged side, don't worry about it. Look at the good side or his undamaged side. And again, I see a big four point. So assuming he's a big four on the other side, you know, this is a, a, a middle-aged deer, a four-year-old deer, and I would probably recommend harvesting this deer, again, not because of the damaged side, but of the undamaged side, because he's not that impressive, and for genetic gains, we don't need him. Look at this deer. You could put a saddle on this big boy. You see how wide he is, how flat he is across the back. Look at the back of his neck. Just huge deer. His antlers look wider because you notice his, his ears are pointed back toward the helicopter. Uh, it's kind of a neat deal. They, they can't see you because they're running, they're, they're concentrating on where they're going, but they always have their ears to the helicopter. It's really kind of a neat how they're plugged in. And as that helicopter moves left or right, those ears will, will rotate toward the sound. It's kind of a, a neat uh, adaptation they have. But, but look at the deer's antlers. Fantastic brow tines, incredible twos, incredible threes. 21 inches inside spread, and then look at that. I guess you call it an inline point. I don't think that's a true double main beam, but look at that thing. It's 14, 15 inches long. This deer is going to score tremendously high. I would imagine during the rut, he starts banging heads with another buck. He's going to break that inline point off. And you see, because he's so big and mature, there's going to be a lot of torque. So there's a real good chance that inline point's going to get broke off. So if you're after a real high scoring deer that's very, very unique, uh, this big boy, he has got it all. I'd recommend taking this deer before the rut. Here's an interesting deer. Again, I see a beautiful dark coat, charcoal gray. I see a pot belly. I see a deep chest. I see big neck. And I see his ears right toward the helicopter. But also, look at the, the, the base of his uh, antlers. Look how wide he is across the skull. I think I see a deep, deep skull from, from the profile that I see. And then look at his antlers. He does have short main beams. He does have a narrow inside spread. But holy cow, look at all the points. This is what you call a double row typical buck. Very, very rare, very unique traits. Because he has so many points and such good mass, this deer is going to scare you. He's going to be real hard to, to score. But this deer is going to score very, very high. Look at all of those points on, on the left side. Look at all those points on the right side. Fully mature deer, if you're looking for a trophy buck of a lifetime, take this big guy out. This is a great deer. Uh, here's another early season buck. Uh, I know this buck. I took this picture in Maverick County. Uh, look at this. Long main beams. But most of his tines are pretty short. That left G3 is the longest point on his head, and it's only seven and a half, eight inches long. This deer is real wide. See how the beams kind of point up at the front? They're really a unique deer. He's got great brow tines, but his two and fours are pretty poor. This is one of those deer when he walks out of the Sendera, he takes your breath away. You shoot him. You swear he's a monster, a great big giant deer, and then when you get down there, you might be a little disappointed. Uh, this is a fully mature deer. You see the loose skin under his ears, below his, you know, kind of behind and below his eyes. This is a mature buck, but be careful. 
if you're looking for a you know great big high scoring deer 160 class deer this deer is not it but because of the spread because of the mass i think uh, if you react too quick i think you might be disappointed but this is a great deer as as far as a mature deer but for a high scoring deer this is not what you're looking for all right guys let's end it right here i gotta head back out in the field i'll be back with you shortly thank you